Hi guys, I'm Jim and welcome to Six String Studies. Today we're going to be looking at It's My Life by Bon Jovi. We're going to be doing the rhythm part and the solo as well. Now the original part uses a Helix voice box, which I don't have, to give that characteristics of wow, wow sound. Um, so I'm just going to be playing it with a quite heavily uh, distorted guitar and you'll see the tab at the top of the screen. So if you like the video and you find it informative, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and let's get to the lesson. Okay, it's my life. First thing to talk about is that we have an inverted power chord. That's the main chord that we're going to be playing throughout this song. Now, a normal power chord, you'd, for example, in this case, it's C5. You'd play C, a G, and you might possibly play another C as well. So you'd have your first th finger on the third fret of the A string, your third finger on the fifth fret of the D string, and your little finger on the fifth fret of the G string. What we're going to do in this case is invert that, and that means uh, put any other note of that chord in, in the bass, and in this case there are only two notes, we have C and G. So we're going to put uh, G in the bass, third fret of the E string. We're going to bar that so we play the third fret of the A string as well. And then your third finger is going to play the fifth fret of the D string. So instead of going C, G, C, we're going to go G, C, G. Playing from the E to the D string. That's going to be used a whole lot. It's basically uh, the only chord we use in the, in the verse. Okay, so I've got the, the click track going in the background. It's basically the uh, same as the metronome. I'm going to be playing through the verse once. At, this is at full speed. Then we're going to break it down and play it slowly. This ain't a song for the broken hearted. Count along. To our chorus. Okay, so let's play that slowly through now. We're on the C5 chord, the inverted power chord. And it sounds like this. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, and that is where the chorus is going to start. So we're playing our chord, our C5 chord, but we also have these mute sounds. So we have this. And all we're doing there is we're going to relax here with the chord and put a par mute on at the uh, near the bridge here. So we have relax and then reapply the pressure for the chord. So. Mute, mute. So you just relax and reapply the pressure whenever you need it, as well as keeping that palm mute on. And that's going to be used a whole lot in the chorus as well, which we're about to do. Okay, so let's look at the chorus. We're starting on our C5 chord as normal. The count is this. 
one, two, three, four, and. And there's the mutes there. So that's one, two, three, four, and. Then we move it forward to an A flat five chord, and that's going to be your first finger on the fourth fret of the E string, third finger on the sixth fret of the A string, and your little finger on the sixth fret of the D string. One, two, three, four, and. We now move it forward, and we're going to go to this inversion shape again. This is on the sixth fret, so we've got, uh, what have we got there, an E flat inverted there, so we've got the sixth fret of the E string, the sixth fret of the A string, both with the first finger, and your third finger plays the eighth fret on the D string. For our final chord for the chorus, we stay where we are, but we're going to come to this shape. So this, this is a B flat five. So we have your first finger is on the sixth fret of the E string still. Your third finger is moved up to play the eighth fret of the A string. And your little finger has moved up to play the eighth, sorry, is playing the eighth fret of the D string. So I'll put that together for you slowly and uh, I'll count along as well. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. So we've got C5, two, three, A flat five, E flat five, B flat five. The second time you play through the chorus, it's very similar, but it's got a different end. It goes one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. It's my life. So let's look at that. We have C5, one, two, three, four, and A flat five, one, two, Three, you strike it again on four, move it forward two frets, and then re-strike as you get there. So it's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Now we're going to play the first fret of the A string, just that note there, with some vibrato on it. Move it forward to the second fret. So we've got it's my, and then we do the same thing again. The chorus goes around again. I'm going to play the entire chorus for you now. One, two, three, four, and 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 one, two. Three, four, and one, two Four and one, two, three, four. It's my life. Two, three, four and one, 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 two, three, four. It's my and there you are, back to the verse. Okay, let's look at the, the solo. The solo happens after chorus two. And we've just come out of it's, my, then we're gonna to go to the fifth fret of the A string. And we're gonna be thinking one and two and three and four and. So you play the fifth fret here, one, on beat and, you bend it half a step, so we're getting the sixth fret tone there. One and two and three and four and, and we do that. I think it's four times, and on the fourth time we're going to do a pull off. But let's get there first of all. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Pulling off to the third fret there. Okay. So I'm going to play that a little bit more up to speed for you. 
three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and now our third finger is going to slide up to the tenth fret like this so we've got straight up there your first finger is going to play the eighth fret of the D string it's going to roll across to the eighth fret of the G string so that's then we are placing our third finger and backing up with fingers one and two on the tenth fret of the G string and we're going to do a full bend here so keep your thumb on top of none of this sort of stuff or weird stuff keep your thumb on top repick and come down again so so far we've got pick 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 come down pull off to the eighth fret here As like that listen to the timing here back on to the 10th fret with the 3rd finger then your 1st finger is going to play the 8th fret on the D string 3rd finger is going to play the 10th fret on the D string as well put vibrato on it so we've got slowly once more so we're coming off this uh, the half bend fives pull off let's do that again for you and to finish this off our third finger is playing the third fret of the E string. This is now palm muted. Your first finger is playing the A string first fret and then rolling to the D string first fret. Back again. So those four notes are palm muted and then you're going to hit the third fret of the A string with vibrato. So here's the whole solo for you, more up to speed. One, two, three, four. Okay, so here's the solo slowed down to uh, 80 beats per minute. The original speed is about 120, so we've taken 40 off. This is probably good practice speed for you. Here we go then. So one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. the chorus okay so it's my life by Bon Jovi I hope you enjoyed that lesson if you did give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and leave any comments below until next time bye bye <laughs>